to improve the skills and knowledge of water specialists, the Kazakh German University received a grant to promote the water, energy, food, ecosystem nexus approach in water-related courses in Central Asian universities and government agencies. Their project promotes cooperation and support for learning between different water-related sectors of government and facilitates knowledge exchange among the five countries of Central Asia. First of all, we are solving transboundary issues, which involve two or more countries. We want people from different countries to sit down at one table to discuss water issues and to step away from preconceived notions about their neighbors. We developed six model case studies that include multiple countries, so we can learn from these examples and apply the lessons to the problems we're facing in Central Asia. We conducted trainings in each country with representatives from agencies covering water, energy, environment, and agriculture. And we have already seen that many representatives from these ministries and agencies now see their work in a completely different way. The first results were immediately evident. When we held the trainings, we learned that the approach was very new for the region. We developed six case studies and trained specialists to analyze these studies interactively, pulling knowledge from all different fields, not only from their background specialty. This enabled us to devise completely new solutions. We also used the WEFI Nexus approach to create an online course. Thus, we have prepared a course that teaches people how to use the WEFI Nexus approach. As a result, governments, academics, and civil society now have a tool to promote cross-sectoral and cross-border dialogue to achieve more efficient water use and planning. In the Kyrgyz Republic, the national chapter of the Global Water Partnership used their grant to develop and pilot course materials on financial and economic aspects of water management in Central Asia. Based on the project objectives, we set four interrelated tasks. The first task was to develop nine training modules on economic and financial aspects of integrated water resource management. The second task was to train people to teach these courses. The third and fourth tasks included testing the new course materials and disseminating the results. We to develop the training modules, we drew from methods, technologies, and experiences around the world to find the best practices. Our water partnership has made a great contribution to determine material indicators that reveal the true state of our water sector. Since developing these courses, we have already seen several changes at the state level. In Uzbekistan, Nazar Business and Technology used their grant to update existing methods for conducting environmental impact assessments on water facilities. Our project began with a review of secondary literature to learn more about the existing practices for environmental impact assessments of water facilities. We found that there weren't many to review, and those we did find were quite outdated. So we drew what information we could to identify the methodological gaps that are not addressed in Uzbekistan today. The Tashkent Institute for Irrigation is waiting for our work so they can use the updated EIA to inform students in the fields of water management and the environment. The methodology is a very important resource for training personnel who need to understand the essence and methods of environmental impact assessment of water management facilities from the early stage of design. At one of our last seminars, officials from the Ministry of Environment and Ecology confirmed that these documents are very much in demand and indicated they would use them in future projects. Through USAID's grant program, grantees have built an important foundation for improving water security and strengthening climate resilience in Central Asia, while also inspiring thousands of young people and professionals to embrace the value of cooperation and collaboration around water.